In this lecture, you will learn how to create the smart terrain in Unity 3D. So let's go to Unity and let's check out what we mean by smart terrain. So if you go to the um, landscape folder, you will see that we have a road single here. And if you just drag and drop this to the scene, then we just have right here a road. And what we can do is just duplicate that multiple times to get more roads. However, the problem with that is that it's a limited amount of road and it's always going to be the same exact way we create roads. But we don't want that. We want to create roads the smart way, the dynamic way, meaning that every time the user or the player will come and play the game, the landscape will be different. It, have so, it will have some variation because we will dynamically instantiate or spawn new, play, new uh, terrain with the code and that's what we want to learn here and by the way this is how you want to do in uh, in in many games in any types of games so that it's not too repetitive it's not always the same it's always a new experience every time you try the game all right having said that let's get started first of all um go ahead and go to the landscape folder and right here locate the road single now i want you to drag and drop this within the hierarchy and we have a road single but we don't want to stop here we want to create a new game object that's going to have a whole strip of this a whole road strip so go ahead and do game object create empty right and now what we're going to do is take the road single and drag and drop it inside of that game object now how do you know if it's inside or not you can just extend and um, you will see that it's within it so if you if you um, remove the, the extension then you will see that it's inside of it all right now now that we have the road single what we're going to do is duplicate that horizontally all right so first of all let's make sure that it's right right on top and yes it's perfectly right on top now let's add more of these how do we do this i'm just going to press command d i repeat command d or edit duplicate and now what we're going to do um it, we're going to move that road single so press on the w by clicking on the road single and move it with the Y axis, which will be the yellow one. All right, and make sure that it touches the other piece of the road. So do that uh, many times. Um, repeat this process about um, five times. Okay, the reason why is that we want to take as much space as possible so that when we look at the camera, we do not see an empty space for the road. Okay, so there we go. That's four time and let's do it to fifth time. And we'll see if that's enough. All right. Now I'm going to select all of them by clicking the Shift key and selecting them all. And I'm going to move them so that this, um, the, the center goes where the chicken is. And if I press F and I zoom in, I see that the center is right where the chicken is. Perfect. Now go to the game. And as you can see, it's taking all the space here. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want to see any empty spaces here, all right? So feel free to make it bigger if you want to, but that definitely will do. All right. So having done that, now let's go ahead and move um, and rename this game object. So click here, and I'm going to call this one um, strip-road. Okay? So that would be uh, the strip of a road. Now what I'm going to do is go to my strips folder and it should be empty for you too and we're going to create a prefab so right click and do create prefab prefab would be an object that we can use over and over again just by instantiating it so i'm going to call this one strip road just like this one and i'm going to drag and drop this inside of it all right and there we go as soon as you do this it appears here now the beauty of having done that is that you can drag and drop this again and that will create another one. So I'm going to call this one Strip Road 1. Then this one is going to be Strip Road 2. And what I'm going to do is move the Strip Road 2 a little bit in front of it. So I go to Scene and I move it a little bit just in front of it. There we go. All right. So as you can see, we are creating a road with two um, with, uh, with two, two sides. We can have the uh, left side of the road and the right side of the road. Now, let's go ahead and um, create the... Um, we're going to create a grass, a grass prefab in the next lecture. 